Hello my loves, welcome back to my beauty channel. As per your requests, I have another epic beauty hack video for you, full of amazing hacks that actually work. Wait until you see my favorite makeup brush drying hack. I use this one every time I wash my brushes and it saves me so much money. So without further ado, if you want to see my epic beauty hacks that actually work, please keep watching. If you don't have blotting papers to remove excess oil from your face, you can use coffee filters or tea bag filters. They are made of the same material as blotting papers and a cheap way to use them on the go is to cut them into little sections and keep them in a Ziploc bag that you can throw into your purse. Now personally, my skin is not oily because my skin is more on the dry side, but I put a little bit of oil on my cheek just so I can show you how these blotting papers work. Amazing, right? If you only have a matte foundation and you want a more dewy look, mix in one to three drops of a light facial oil into your foundation before applying it to your face. I personally like avocado oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil, or jojoba oil for this. All you need is one foundation and you can tweak it to be matte or dewy. Whiten your teeth in two minutes at home with baking soda and lemon juice. All you want to do is combine one tablespoon of baking soda with one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice in a small bowl or container. Use a cotton q-tip to pick up the mixture and apply it to your teeth and set a timer for two minutes. Do not whiten them longer than this because the acid in the lemon can ruin your enamel so this is really important. Also do not brush your teeth an hour before and an hour after doing this to give your enamel some time to reharden. After the two minutes are up, remove the mixture from your teeth. You want to make sure that you swish some water around in your mouth for a minute or so and spit it out in a sink to make sure that the mixture is completely removed. If you run out of eyeliner, take a mascara and pick up some product using a liner brush and apply the liner to your lids just like you normally would with an eyeliner. If you run out of the house forgetting to put on deodorant, all you need is some sanitizer. I'm sure many of you already have this in your car or in your purse. Because bacteria is the cause for the smell, an antibacterial sanitizer will kill it off and make you smell fresh. You can spray it on or apply it to a napkin or cotton pad and then wipe it on. Just make sure you don't do this if you shaved your underarms within 12 hours and don't make this a habit because sanitizer has alcohol in it and it can dry out your skin. Did you know that if you apply raw honey to your pimples, the properties in the raw honey will naturally destroy any bacteria and heal your pimple much faster? Simply apply the raw honey before you go to bed and in the morning, the pimples will either be completely gone or much smaller. Use your finger to apply pearly pigmented eyeshadow instead of a brush. The natural oils on your finger adds moisture to the shadow so more product is picked up and the pigment will be more intensified. If you don't have an eye primer, you can put a tiny bit of glycerin-based lotion onto your eyelid. Glycerin makes stuff stick to it and it will keep your eyeshadow in place much longer than without it. You can also use concealer as an eye primer, just don't forget to set your moisturizer or concealer with powder to make sure your eyeshadow goes on smooth. Now I typically like to pair both of them up if I don't have an eye primer on hand because the moisturizer makes the eyeshadow stick to it and the concealer covers up any discoloration or veins that might be visible on my eyelids. Make a DIY face and body scrub using coconut oil and coffee grounds. Guys, this is the moment I wish YouTube had smell-o-vision. This stuff smells absolutely amazing and I wish I could eat it, but I won't. This combination is not only highly moisturizing, it gets rid of dead skin cells, it's a natural anti-inflammatory which helps with redness, and it reduces the appearance of cellulite and stretch marks. Hide tired or hungover eyes by using a light pencil in a neutral color to highlight the brow bone, center of the eyelid, and inner corner of the eye. Blend it into the skin for a natural brightening wide-eyed effect. You can also pop a nude pencil in your waterline for an extra pop of brightness. To remove self-tanning mistakes, all you need is some baking soda, water, and a cotton pad. Just rub the solution on any areas that you want to remove some of the pigment. To prevent any eyeliner from smudging, set it with an eyeshadow. If you're using a colored liner, you can use translucent powder. If your mascara is starting to dry up, put it in between your boobs while you are doing the rest of your makeup. This will warm up the product and liquefy it a little bit and give you a few more uses out of it. Another option is to pop your mascara into a cup of warm water to achieve the same effect. You can also use these two hacks for liquid liner. 
Make a DIY lip scrub with sugar and coconut oil. You can also use this super inexpensive scrub all over your face and body to exfoliate, moisturize, and nourish your skin. If you find that applying eyelash glue to your lashes is impossible to do without getting glue all over your lashes, use a liner brush instead. This will keep the glue exactly where you want it and make applying and removing your lashes a dream. If you don't have liquid eyeliner but you want to get the look, take your favorite eyeliner brush, dip it into an eyeshadow, and then spray your brush with MAC Fix Plus or a setting spray and apply it to your eyelid as you normally would with any eyeliner. Instead of going out and buying an expensive highlighter, you can use a shimmery eyeshadow that you may already have at home as a highlighter. You can turn any pencil into a gel formula by carefully warming up the tip with a lighter. Just make sure it's not too hot before applying it to your skin. Just like glycerin can help prime your eyelids for eyeshadow, you can also make your lipstick last longer by applying a tiny amount of moisturizer with glycerin onto your lips as a lip primer. Glycerin makes stuff stick to it as I mentioned before, so it will lock your lipstick in place and make it last much longer than without it. Use a white liner in the center of your lips before applying a lip color to create a powdier look. Get double duty out of your lipstick by dabbing a small amount of the lipstick on your cheeks as a cream blush if you're in a hurry and if you're traveling and want to pack light. If you need your nails to dry much faster, run them under cold water in the sink or dunk them into a cup of cold water for about 1-3 to three minutes to speed up the drying process. For those hard to remove liquid lipsticks, apply a thick layer of beeswax over top and then wipe away. Beeswax is an alternative to petroleum jelly which works by breaking down hard to remove product. Beeswax is also super safe to use and is all natural. If you don't have any dry shampoo, you can use a translucent face powder to absorb any oil and freshen up your hair. Instead of spending a lot of money on a makeup brush drying contraption, dry makeup brushes upside down using a cutting board in three rubber bands or headbands. Weave them through and lay the board against the wall on a countertop. This will ensure that none of the water or moisture will get trapped inside of the brush barrels that can potentially loosen up the glue and cause your brushes to shed and fall apart. Okay guys, so that wraps up another beauty hack video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found some of these hacks very helpful. Please let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below and leave any video requests for me. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post daily and I love chatting with you guys over there. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.